Are you tired of lugging around heavy suitcases while you're traveling? Do you always end up having clothes that you actually don't even wear? With the summer travel season right upon us, I know many of us have trips coming up and are really worried about what to pack without having a very overweight suitcase. Today, I'll be sharing with you five tips to stop overpacking as someone that is exclusively a carry-on only traveler and have traveled anywhere from a couple weeks to a few months in just a carry-on. <laughs> tip to stop overpacking is to use packing cubes. Now, if you've watched even one of my packing videos, you know that I only travel with packing cubes and they're a fantastic travel essential in general, but they help quite a lot in overpacking because what I do is I create categories for each of my packing cubes and I will not take more clothes than can fit into that packing cube of that category. So for example, you can have one cube for t-shirts, one cube for pants, one cube for pajamas, one cube for swimsuits if you're going swimming, stuff like that. And it's fantastic because A, you're gonna be very organized and B, you will know visually how much you will have of a certain thing. And of course, it is a lot easier to unpack when you get to your destination because everything is its own little category. If you want some concrete examples, I have a whole playlist of Pack Me Free videos where I show you how I pack in my packing cubes for various different climates and for various different durations of time. And I have that playlist linked over here. Tip number two may sound very basic, but it is actually to start packing a week in advance. Now, I always recommend this tip for people that don't travel as often and are kind of a bit rusty when it comes to packing. I travel like once a month, so I don't usually have to do this because I've just gotten my packing skills down. But in the beginning, this was a fantastic way to really visualize what you're using on an everyday basis. A, it helps you pack things and not actually forget your essentials, but B, it actually shows you that you don't need as much as you think. By being intentional and giving yourself time to pack, you're gonna avoid the last minute panic throwing everything into the suitcase because who knows, maybe you'll need this random thing or 20 different pairs of pants. Plot twist, you don't. But you'll also be considering things like climate and activities that you'll be doing on your trips and be able to pack accordingly without the panic of needing to leave to the airport and still having an empty suitcase. My third tip is to create a packing base, which I say is clothing and necessities that will last you for a week and always start your trips with this base. And then, only then, add on things that you think would be better considering your climate and activities and maybe things that you just wanna have with you. This tip is honestly fantastic for people that bring too many things in the idea of just in case, you know, just in case I'll have four pairs of shoes or just in case I'll have 20 different pairs of underwear. We don't need that in our life. And you can also save space by packing things that are versatile and actually go with multiple items. I'm talking about mostly women that we like to pack a lot of different clothes for any type of occasion. I've done that before. It honestly is just a hassle carrying that stuff with you and then you realize that you actually wear the three same outfits almost every single day. Once I learned that lesson, I only packed those three outfits and ended up being way happier and didn't have to lug around a heavy, heavy suitcase. Tip number four is all about packing versatile pieces that you can mix and match with no matter where you're going or for how long. What I mean by versatile pieces, it can be things that are reversible. So you already have like two pieces of clothing in one or just having your wardrobe staples that you always pack with you that make you feel good, that you are comfortable with and you know well, you can't go wrong with when you're traveling. I've always, always recommended packing layers and things like that because A, you have multiple different outfits and you can dress things up or down depending on what you take off and what you put on. And trust me, that can save you so much space and most importantly, weight because nobody wants to be lugging around heavy backpacks or suitcases in the summer heat. Been there, done that. There are even companies like Splice Clothing, I believe, that make reversible travel clothing. This is not sponsored by the way. I just really love the idea and I'm already planning on buying a couple pieces. I'm gonna link the website below just so you can see what I'm talking about. Finally, tip number five is for those people that no matter what they're trying, they just cannot stop overpacking. And no judgment here, I absolutely understand. When I started traveling more often, it was a struggle in the beginning to realize how much you truly need when you're traveling and how much useless things you put in your bag. And so this last tip is all about having a strict packing list. And of course, this sounds like the most basic of tips to try to stop overpacking, but it surprisingly works. I even have a Notion template from a very old YouTube video that I did like over a year ago. I will link it here. It has helped quite a lot of people because I believe that the visual aspect of seeing every single thing that you're planning to take written down, and if you're overpacking, writing down way too much, can kind of trigger something in your brain to be like, this looks like a lot, and trying to narrow that down. It helped me a lot when I was really struggling with overpacking. Now I barely even use it because I'm just really minimalistic that a lot of times my backpack or my suitcase is actually half empty. Uh, but in the beginning, it could be really, really crucial to see how much you're actually taking because when it's written down, 
it looks like a lot. So there you have it, my in-depth breakdown of the five tips that I use the most to stop overpacking. By following some or all of these tips, you can seriously avoid overpacking and travel with a lot more ease and of course being a lot more lightweight. If you enjoyed this video, give it some love by liking it and leave me a comment down below which tip you like the most. And of course, if you're not subscribed yet and you want to see more travel tips from me and travel content in general, hit the subscribe button. It would make my day and I will see you guys in the next video.